Are you recording this? Did uh, any of you guys, uh, what do you all think of Y Max and Y Max, uh, the, the new prices? Uh, I'm just curious. Uh, what, what's your opinion on that? Uh, basically for yield max, uh, the only one that I'm investing in is Y max. So I, I would say that that would make me bullish on it. I, were you, were you guys disappointed? Uh, uh I wasn't, I, I figured it would be between 30 and 40%. Oh really? Oh hey, I'm I'm actually kind of disappointed with the numbers. Uh, I thought it was going to be seventy cents or more, um, but you know I don't know. It was just a wild guess, really. Uh, but I expected to be. I didn't. I didn't expect to be forty three cents for Y Mag, and I didn't expect to be as low as Y Max for the price. Essentially, thirty one percent yield and twenty five percent yield. Um, yeah, it it I was really disappointed. And one of the things I'm disappointed is for my third week, TSLP pay better dividends, 57 cents, 60 cents, 55 cents. You know, than than Y Mag. So um yeah, I, I can see some difficult challenge. So essentially in order for me to get $1000, I need roughly almost 1800 to 2000 share. And, uh, you know, it's 2,000 shares. It's expensive. I mean, you're looking at, let me pull the calculator out. Uh, you know, 2,000 time, you know, $21 or something like that. I'm looking at roughly a $42,000 uh, portfolio, you know, and uh, just to get $1,000 for my third week. And that's the only reason why I don't like that. Where what I like about the QQY, IWNY is like at least one of them is paying a dollar. And uh, one of the reasons why uh, I like Clip is that Clip was paying 80 cents, 90 cents for a long, long time. It's just recently the price dropped. But it, it paid that much a long time. Uh, you know, and I wish, I wish, I wish we have a true high yielder uh, in the third weeks, you know, somewhere, in other words, Coney, let's say Coney, for example, is in the third week, that'd be so awesome, it would have been perfect and awesome, so this way, uh, this way I can put some money into that, and then that will give me a thousand dollars worth of, I don't want to spend $42,000 just to get a thousand dollars, you see what I'm talking about? I want to spend $20,000 to get a thousand dollars, like IWMY. IWNY pay a dollar twenty nine. I don't. I all I need is essentially nine hundred share. Nine hundred share, and I will get a thousand dollar. You know, I don't need a lot. And I, and it, it, even I go to a thousand share, I'm only spending eighteen thousand dollar or nineteen thousand dollar at most. You know, but you know, so eighteen thousand, nineteen thousand dollar, I will get a thousand dollar. Uh, or you know, what of income, dividend income. But for TSLP, Y Max, and Y Mag, I literally have to spend forty thousand dollars just to get a thousand dollars worth of dividends. I could have, I could have spent, I could have spent, take twenty thousand dollars and put more money into IWNY and get more uh, share. You know, so another thousand dollars. So. That, that's my only disappointment. Now, Clip, you know, it dropped the price, the dividend dropped to 57 cents. But I I own Clip for a long time. I own it since it was paying 90 cents. 90 cents, 80 cents, all those money. So so that, that share at 1,830 is a combination of all those high dividends that I receive. Um, but... I would I would ask the same question if I don't have clip and I buy a new position in clip. If let's say I don't own clip at all, I have to buy a new position. I would ask the same question about Y Max and Y Max 
that means I need a lot of share. But the good, the the weird part is, clip is only fourteen dollars. You know, it's only fourteen dollars. So it's cheap. So I can get that share. I can get a thousand share at a lower price point because it's cheap. You know, that's it. I, you know. Uh, I don't know. It's just it's just a wacky way of looking numbers and stuff like that, and the way the way I see the world. Do you, you guys you guys have any disagreement with that, or what 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 do you all take about that? Uh, I don't really have a disagreement, but you know, it, it's kind of like you got to pick your girl, yeah, and you know, you have to figure out what fits your personal goals and time frame. You know, so, it, you know, it's going to be different for everybody. Yeah. And uh, why Max just happened to fit what my overall goals were a little better than maybe some of the other ones. Are you interested in paying weekly like I do? No. All right. Yeah, it, I, uh, you know, through my regular job, I've been paid weekly, bi-weekly, and monthly, and it, I, I really don't care how I get paid. All right. You know, it, it's kind of like, well, it, it's kind of like the situation you have now. Uh, in the past, I've looked... Uh, I was trying to do the the weekly thing with a uh, different kind of investing. It wasn't high yield investing, but you you end up with a week where there might be something that fits in that week, but it's not necessarily what you want. Yeah. And so I I I started to do that and you know, you start to get into it and you realize, okay, now I have a lot of it and I still don't want it. <laughs> it's still not what I wanted. So, you know, I, I don't know that I would um, buy something just because it fell in that week. What What is your, what is your biggest holding? Um, my biggest holding... Well, it, it's going to be index funds that are tied into the S and P 500 and all that. I, I have a an account that's that's just boring, I, I guess. It, you know, I, I have five different accounts, so. Wow. Yeah, and so outside of, uh, I guess my core account. Um, Right now, it's going to be Tesla stock. And then I have uh, my, my newest account is it's 50-50 between YMAX and uh, VTI. Mm-hmm. But uh, hopefully, eventually, that account will probably end up being my largest single holdings. Yeah. That's awesome, brother. That's awesome. All right. Um, you got any uh, any suggestion for me? Any uh, tips, recommendation? Are you asking me? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no. Uh, you, you know, it's it's hard to give advice because it's, you know, it's personal finance. Mm -hmm. you know, and they call it that for a reason. Yeah. And, uh, you know, everyone's going to have their own strategy and they have to make it fit their life and what they're trying to achieve. So, you know, the strategy I'm currently working on may not work for anybody else. 
Mm-hmm. So, like, with my two fund portfolio, one of them is obviously high yield, and the other one is the exact opposite of that. And I was going through all the high yield stuff, and, and I basically came down to this, and that that you know I only need one holding that is really good at making high yield. My other holding that I have in there, VTI, the only reason why I have it in there is I'm using it as a high yield savings account. Yeah. And five years from now or so, if something should happen to my YMAX position, because it's a, a cap cover call fund. Um, so I, I imagine there's going to be some price depreciation over time. Mm-hmm. Um, so what I would do is if YMAX starts to, I guess, lose value, I would sell some VTI and dump it back into YMAX. And I would think that whenever the market turned for YMAX and it starts doing better, my payouts would get larger. So then I would take the larger payouts and put a portion of that back into VTI, if that makes sense. Oh, yeah, that make, make a lot of sense. Uh, no, I, I appreciate the feedback here. Uh, you know, it's too early right now for, for us to actually analyze anything on YMAX and YMAX. Uh, there's tons of YouTube video on this, so uh, mm-hmm. I, at first I was gonna do like a quick, kind of like a review on this particular fund, um, but you know, just go to the website and really read it. I mean, it, they do option trading just like Tesla, just like anything else out there. Uh, the only thing uniquely different is that they pay out on the third week, not the second week, like all the other yield max. So that's good. That's good play, and. Another thing that's that is good is the holding. So they rotate. There's ten holdings, and they rotate that across. Uh, you know, every next month it's going to be something else. And so I don't curious see how they pick that. Uh, but you know, this month right now you got AI, AMD, Amazon, Apple, Coin, uh, Disso, Meta, Google, JPM, and Mona. Uh, what's interesting is that uh, you know the the Magnificent Seven also have element. They have Google, Meta. Uh, Apple and Amazon in here um, this part of the Magnificent Seven. So uh, so essentially, it's almost like owning the Magnificent Seven again, you know? So it's just like two things. Um, out of every one of these things here have potential to make pretty good dividends. And uh, I think they're pretty good. I like the idea they rotate this every month. Um, so I'm curious to see what's up with that. That's, that's pretty much it. I mean, uh, there's nothing too complicated about this thing. Uh, I see this. I see why Max and why Mag grow just because it sit by itself in the third week. But I, I, I see it growing to, you know, a hundred million. You know, it's gonna be. Let, you know, let, let me show you if. Uh, Yield Max, biggest player, biggest asset is Tesla. The next one is Coney, and then NVDY, and, and OLKMD. So I, I see why Max potentially be in the top you know, a top five or top, you know, at least a top five. You know, it would be Tesla, Coney, NVD, and then maybe YMAX, YMAX or YMAX, one of those two. Or maybe both. Because the reason is it's the only one out of all this. It's like index light because you own a various of things. So uh, instead of just own one fund. So for a new investor out there, uh, when they're brand new, so there's new investor born every day. That's one thing I learned about being being an investor now you know like they're literally born newborn born every day and when that guy come into the scene when he look at yield max now he can look at y max as the one fund that owned them all you know and so instead of just buying all these piecemeal he just buy that one fund and uh and then that, that will cover uh, those two will cover the entire etf you know entire yield max family so I could, I could see people do that. Uh, people like me, we already own the underlying stocks. Um, 
that's just that's just a bonus onto it. Uh, ultimately, I want to own all of them. All of them. Doesn't matter what it is. I'm going to own all of them. That's the goal. That's the ultimate goal is own all of them. All right. Uh, yeah, no, I appreciate it. Uh, public? What you uh, want to say? Yeah. Real, real quick here. Yeah. Uh, why Max actually holds all 18 of them. Oh, really? Yeah. Where does it say that? Uh, it's in the prospectus. If you look at how they're weighted, they're weighted at like 5.5%, give or take. All right, I'm click on the Excel spreadsheet now. 20 fun. Oh, 19 fun. Yeah, they own all of them. Yeah, it's uh, 18 funds, and then the other one's a cash uh, holding area. Yep, you're right. If I add all the weighted, it become 1%. So they own all 20. Okay, yeah, correction. Uh, I apologize. Thank you for correction on that. Uh, glad, glad you catch me on that. I'm looking at the Excel spreadsheet, and they listed all the fun. All right. But WiMAX paid pretty good money, though, compared to WiMAX. Yeah, I was actually shocked. I, I thought it would be the other way around, actually. Yep, me too. All of us. All of us. All right, guys, so I'm going to stop uh, this video, and then uh, I'm going to chill now. I got... All right.